Oh my god, I'm literally a beast. How did I just do that perfectly? What's up guys? It's Amber and today we're gonna be doing a little fashion video It's been a while since I gave you guys an update on my wardrobe and how I've been styling my clothes recently So I figured now is a perfect time winter's coming up and I got a bunch of new clothes So I'm gonna show you guys how I've been styling those into outfits I know I'm gonna be traveling to New York City to see my sister Ashley soon And you know I gotta pull out the good fits for that trip So I'm really excited. I have a bunch of new stuff I actually got this whole box right here from Princess Polly Everything in here is from their sustainable collection Everything is made from lower impact materials that are better for the environment literally cannot tell you how excited I am about these clothes all these products are either made of organic or recycled materials it is so amazing to see brands taking steps to be more environmentally friendly as of right now 20% of Princess Polly's products are made of lower impact materials but they're aiming to get it to 100% by 2030 they have more info on their website about their sustainability mission I've got so many cute things in here so if you guys are looking for some winter clothing inspo maybe even some holiday gift inspo Princess Polly is totally coming through with the sustainable clothing options thank you so much to Princess Polly for partnering with me on this video. By the way, I'll have links to all of these pieces in the description. And if you want a little discount code to shop Princess Polly, you can use my code AMBER for 20% off. Without further ado, let's jump in. We're gonna do a little haul and then I'm gonna show you some of my outfits that I've styled. Who knows where we'll go? We're gonna speed run this. Speed run. Let's go. First up, we've got these tank tops. I've got this blue, black, and this brown one. These are all made with organic cotton. I love these colors and you guys know I'm a tank top gal. I'm literally wearing a tank top every single day. So I had to get three colors because I know I'm gonna be wearing these all the time. For another basic piece, we've got some denim. So these are made of recycled cotton. And I realized recently I didn't own any ripped denim of my own. I was always borrowing Ashley's pants. So now I finally got my own pair. Next, we're gonna jump straight into the accessories because I'm so excited. I got a new bag. Look at the storage space, the pockets. I love it. It's got the big over the shoulder strap. I finally retired my old Princess Polly bag. I use this for, I think, all of college. Now that I'm a senior, it's time to upgrade. And I feel like this reminds me of a dad's lunchbox. Maybe because it's like almost identical to my dad's. It is so cuboid. Every morning I'm seeing this dude packing sandwiches into his lunchbox on his way to work so we are totally matching. I'm gonna pack my lunch in this every day. Then I've got a two-piece set. We've got a brown plaid top and skirt. This is kind of reminding me of Olivia Rodrigo so of course I had to get it because I love her outfits. Speaking of brown, I've got some shorts over here. Along with being a tank top gal, I am a stretchy waistband shorts gal, especially being in California for school. My classic outfit is tank top and shorts so I needed another pair because I go through my shorts so quickly. These ones are round corduroy. Then I got these green sweatpants. Just another classic everyday wear. I've already worn these, I think, every single day for the past seven days or something. I just love to wear the same pants for so many days in a row until it starts getting like a little bit questionable. Then I've got another set. This one is so cute. I am actually obsessed with this. I don't even know how to describe this pattern, but it's so beautiful. It's kind of giving me dragon vibes. Then we got penny loafers. I've never owned loafers before. These are really glossy and cute. Oh, I did it! Then I got this knit quarter zip. Feels like a stuffed animal in my hands. It is so soft. Then I got these dark gray slacks. These are so comfy and I can wear them with a ton of outfits. Then really quick, I got a bunch of accessories. I got two pairs of earrings, these green ones and then these gold and turquoise ones. These are made out of recycled metals. How crazy is that? Where do you even get recycled metals? I also got these socks. These are made of organic cotton. They go up this high. And now, the piece de resistance. I wore this back home and my mom, Ashley, everybody I saw was like, Where'd you get that jacket? Where'd you get that? Let me show you real quick. Here is my navy blue puffer jacket. This is so gorgeous, so beautiful. I wore it in New York City, it kept me warm the whole time. I love that it has a really thick cuff so it keeps my hands warm. I think navy blue puffers as opposed to black puffers are totally the move. Completely different, never been done before. 15 degrees outside, puffer. 90 degrees, puffer. It's always the right time for a puffer. Speaking of puffers, I also got this vest. This is like my perfect color. Real nice and squishy. Oh my God, the box is getting empty. We're onto our last few items of the haul. Next, we've got a classic brown sweater. This is made out of recycled fibers. So soft, so nice. Then I got this black cardigan. This one is so cute because it only has buttons at the top, so it has to be open at the bottom. And I think that's just so flattering. Looks so cute, especially if you wear this with a skirt. Last item of the haul is this brown midi skirt. When I bought these pieces, I imagined wearing them together. Hopefully it looks good. I haven't tried them on together yet. I just think having the cardigan open up to this long brown skirt would look so good. And in general, this brown skirt on its own, are you kidding me? It is so cute. So the box is empty. The haul is done. That was all of my new pieces. So now the only thing left to do is style these into some outfits. I've already got some stuff in mind. When I was online shopping, I was putting the pieces together saying, I wear this with this. Mm, yes, perfect outfit. I got this. So we're going to see if I can take these outfits from my brain to real life. Look at this pile of clothes. Oh my gosh. And those are my sons. My little friend won those for me at Knott's Berry Farm and a fair in San Diego. And now those are my children. Welcome to my family, guys. Now it's time for some fits. Whoosh. 
So of course we're starting with today's outfit. We got the brown tank top and jeans, bubble braids to make it look a bit more cute. And now to dive into some more well-developed outfits, we got outfit number one. Oh, I almost just fell. Here we go, outfit number one. Kind of librarian vibes, kind of a little bit emo. Whoa, the socks are so high. Really yanked those all the way up. So for the whole fit, we've got the black cardigan, long brown skirt, my bag, and the socks and loafers. I love putting black and brown together. Can't go wrong with some neutrals. And with a cute hairstyle, it all comes together. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. It looked just like it did in my head. What can I say? I'm a genius, guys. Mini skirts, one of my favorite things to wear. So easy, breathable. I don't know. Let me see if I can get a full body outfit. Oh, my Minecraft costume. I just slammed it to the wall. Can you see my outfit? Kind of also giving Wednesday Adams. I haven't watched the show yet, but for some reason it's all over my TikTok. I'd be like this. I actually have no idea how she dances. Yeah, I don't know how she does, but for my next outfit, so here we've got the puffer jacket styled with the bag once again and the pattern green tank top and my gray slacks. I'm filming this in California right now, so it's way too hot to be wearing this, but I did wear this full outfit in New York City when I was out on the town with my siblings. If the New York City vlog isn't up yet, it will be very soon. I also switched into these green hoops. Why am I so pale? The lighting. Literally cannot tell you how much I love this tank top. These pants are so cool too. I love how the navy blue in this jacket kind of complements the blue tones in this shirt. All of these details together. So good, love it so much. So yeah, this was kind of my New York City, walking around town, I'm a businesswoman, I got places to be outfit. Next, let's switch into something a bit more cozy and casual. Oh my God, my knees are literally giving out every time I jump. And there's something in my eye. God, why is every part of my body failing right now? Anyways, this is probably an outfit I would wear lounging around the house, doing some work, going to class. Anytime I'm wearing something remotely cozy, I'm like, let me put my hair in a claw clip so I look real casual. This is really giving me cozy vibes. Giving me, I don't care, I just threw up my hair and went to class vibes. Girl next door, so casual, doesn't even have to try vibes. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just think this is so cute. Could wear this any day, any occasion. So cozy, I wanna sip on a little hot chocolate. But not peppermint mocha from Starbucks because that tastes like toothpaste. Sorry guys, I'm just speaking the truth. I want a regular hot chocolate. If you come in here with some of that minty pumpkin spice latte, minted ochre, Pepper, what is it called? Peppermint mocha. I am going to sweat out of your hand. Do you even know me? I am a pumpkin spice girl. Oh what, they're out of season? Not my problem. Go find us somewhere. We got one more fit in store and then I have to go to class because I'm running a little late. Really quick, let's go. <gasps> Lastly, here's my college outfit for today. This is a California winter outfit because I can't actually wear a jacket or else I will die of heat stroke. I've got some icy blue to make me feel a bit like Jack Frost. My ripped jeans once again. My bag, simply because I need my student ID inside my wallet to get into the school. So yeah, sometimes it makes me a bit sad in California that I can't like layer clothes as much as I want to. Being a native New Yorker, like Wendy Williams. A native New Yorker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to wear a bunch of jackets and a bunch of sweaters. So I'm bringing in the cool tone colors to make it feel like I'm chilly. What's so funny is when I picked this tank top, I was like, mm, the color's a bit bright, I don't know. But then I realized all of my clothes are so neutral and like monogamous, monogamous. I meant monochromatic, monogamous. That's like someone who only dates one other person. What's the word I'm thinking of? Monotone? I don't know. All my clothes are like green, brown, black. I wear nothing that's bright. And sometimes I look at Ashley's outfits and I see her wearing bright blue and bright pink and I'm like, maybe I should do that. And I actually love how this looks. Like this color is so flattering. Why do I not wear colors more often? Anyways, guys, this is as much as I can handle. I could make infinite outfits out of these clothes, but I have class in like 30 minutes, so I gotta go. Oh! Hey, oh my god. I'm a gymnast. I look so good in a bright color. I should wear this more often. And I haven't drank any water today. I should totally do that because I think my brain is starting to go like this inside my head. So this is my final outfit. I'm gonna wear this to class right now. I hope you guys get some nice outfit inspo for my new winter wardrobe. I miss doing these little fashion videos. I just get to play dress up and to do it in sustainable clothes. Can it get any better? Once again, I'll have links to all the pieces I wore down in the description. If you wanna use my code Amber at Princess Polly, you can get 20% off. They're just so cute and props to Princess Polly for using lower impact materials. We gotta support these brands that are being more eco-friendly so that we can encourage all fashion brands to be like this. Let me know if you guys want more haul videos in the future. I know it's been a while since we've done this, but I'd be so glad to do this again. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should totally do that. We're nearing 300K. That is a huge milestone. I'm so excited. And if you guys wanna be a part of that, the subscribe button is right there totally do it. Sending you guys all my love. Hope you all have a wonderful winter season. And I've got plenty of winter videos coming up soon with my siblings doing baking competitions in New York City. You guys name it. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.